Hey there, this is Yoshi. Uh, today I just want to show you a little <laughs> disaster here. Um, well, not this, but this resulted this. Um, <laughs> so I think uh, my heater worked way too hard this winter. We had a super cold snap that we don't usually have. And uh, probably it was going off and on and off and on or just stay on when it should turn off sometime or something. So it got fried. Uh, fortunately, uh, the heater is totally fine. Uh, no damage whatsoever. Um, so luckily I had a warranty on it. I paid, what is it, uh, $5.99 or something extra when I bought it from uh, eBay. And uh, um, so the warranty sent me uh, a check uh, which worth the entire thing. So not only this one, but uh, the heater. So uh, that was lucky. I only needed to replace this one, but the warranty decided to give me the whole check. So uh, I already uh, went online and bought another thermostat and heater's totally fine. So, and it's still working, you know, it's just not accurate as it should be be like before but it's still working and uh, I'm not too worried about that uh, I have a uh, friend who uh, who is an electrician uh, worked on our greenhouse uh, circuits um, I showed it to him and uh, he said oh it's easy to fix all I have to do is replace that so here we are this is an electric project here uh, I cut them all in pieces um, and I got this one uh, he recommended to buy this one specifically this is uh, totally a uh, cord would be protected and uh, uh, waterproof kind of and this one uh, the cord this cord will go through so that water goes not the water wouldn't go inside so uh, it's a pretty expensive stuff as uh, you know the bottom of the cord but anyways uh, let's uh, take a look at what's in it first so that I can make sure which color there's a three colors so you know the which color goes to what all right so as you can see the green is the ground uh, and uh, white and black those are easier to see uh, so this one actually come off like that and uh, see it's all color coded green goes here black goes here white goes here or in this case no color i guess so all i have to do is just to put that cord in here and then just twist it it should be simple job And of course, like I told you, I have a electrician as a friend. So this is pretty well otherwise from my friend. So just so you know, uh, I'm just uh, recording it as a blog, more like. Uh, it sh could be a day off blog, but I decided not to do so. And uh, let's see. Just realized I needed a screwdriver, which I don't have. I'll be right back. All right, so let's start with the green, just like that. And then I'm gonna go all the way in actually. And so that's the ground. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing. I totally forgot something very important. Those needs to go in first. Whoops. Now, it came with this. I bought this at Lowe's. Um, I think this would be the right size. Yeah? Yeah. So let's put this in first. No. That, I'm, I'm so wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, just like that. No. This, that's right. <laughs> 
I already looked at it first, but I completely forgot. So this one goes in here. That's right. And so so that way it covers that just like this, right? So put that in there and then put that in here. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna assemble this properly. All right, so it is. So this is the right size. I have to yank it and pull in because of uh, the length. And it has to go through here and it stops right here. So I didn't realize how long of a cord I needed to have. So it's gonna be like that, right? So then this one will go through right in. So I have to work on this like that. Okay, and I'm gonna push it all the way in as much as I can. I might have to pull a little more, I don't know, but yeah. Just like so. I think, you know what? I think they can all go in all at once. That will be the at least the best case scenario, I guess. Uh, so white and white. Here's white, black is on this side. Okay, just like that. And oops, see. The best thing would be to uh, solder the whole thing, the tip. That way, those uh, little wires won't come through, but uh, just like that. Okay. Okay, you get the idea. I'll work on it off the camera and uh, be right back all right so it's all connected i feel like it should it was a a lot harder the job than i i thought it should have been but anyhow uh so there's a little i don't know if you can see this but there's a little uh, hole for those to fit in so i'm hoping that would just simply fit in here like that and see if I could find a fitting hole I don't feel like it's going in hold on there's that hole right there there you go I'm thinking it would fit yeah it's going in Yep, I feel it. All right, so you get the idea. All right, and I think I wanna go as tight as possible here. The whole point is it's waterproof. Yep. Here we go. Okay, now this I'm going to now pull it all the way up or actually what I'm going to do is this and see if I could push it. Nope, I should push this one. I'll be right back. All right, this time wasn't too hard. And all I have to do is put this and link it through. And it should stop where it's really tight. There we go. All right, it's my electric project done. Okay, so here's that. I mean, so what do you think I did with the difference? 
um, so obviously this is like what ten dollars and uh, that's all I have to do um, so I want to show you actually what I bought with the difference there's like hundred ten dollars or something difference right so I'll show you what it is hold on a sec Ta-da! So this is what I got. Uh, I've been wanting an electrical sprayer. Um, the same thing that uh, uh, Justin had. And uh, I think uh, 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 Maria Young had that, the same thing too. But uh, um, I my, my tool stuff is all Ryobi. And so was the uh, battery thing. So I just decided, you know what, I got a charger, a multiple charger, like a six charging dock or something like that. So, you know, I just got it, uh, match everything. Uh, I learned that secret from my wife. She likes to match everything. So, you know, might as well just match everything, right? Uh, this is a uh, one and a half gallon, I think, or oh, one gallon. So it's about the same size as I, I had. I had a hand a manual pumping one and I was uh, I, I was okay with it but you know why not uh, that's a uh, $90 $100 or whatever that I didn't have to uh, spend anywhere else so might as well just got a uh, one that matches right so uh, I want to open it and then show you what's in it all right so here's what I got uh, so the reason why I decided to buy sprayer, the main reason was my uh, cheap sprayer's tip kind of went away. Uh, so I can no longer adjust the sprayer for like, sometimes you use it for like, you know, uh, misting. Sometimes you want it to go gash out uh, and I couldn't adjust it anymore. So that's why I needed a new sprayer, uh, like rather urgent. So that's why uh, another reason why i wanted to buy this uh, i got a construction out there so if you hear some noise that's not me but anyhow so i had an option to get a, a no battery but uh, when i went to home depot the ryobi is kind of from uh, home depot uh, when i went there uh, i didn't have any choice with tool only and I didn't really need that, but you know, why not? And everybody wants extra battery, right? So it's fine. Um, so here's the uh, manual. Um, operation, operator's manual. Uh, I mean, I don't really think I need to read this, but. And then of course I got a, a warranty, a additional warranty. Uh, through uh, Home Depot too. It's like only twelve dollars, and it's worth it. Uh, this is for battery, which I totally don't need. Uh, this is also for battery, so that's that. Um, it probably will tell you how to assemble it, and just you know put it on and call it good. There you go. So, yeah, basically tells you how to do that from this to this, okay, and it's already, looks like it's already built in, so just like that, it's kind of double locked, there's a two uh, screws in there. Okay, I'm assuming that's it. Um, and I can also adjust the spray like that. This is a metal, so it probably won't go bad. And besides, there's gonna be a replacement part anyhow. So that was a big thing for me. Um, it says to connect here, but it's already connected. I just need to uh, make it tight. Just like that. Just might as well just to make sure everything is tight. Yeah, okay. 
and battery. I'm assuming it's already charged up. Let's see. Just like that. And then, now what? I'm assuming, uh, maybe not it's charged. We'll see. Let me grab the, the other piece, the battery, which is for sure charged. All right, so I read it. Uh, this is a measuring cup. But at the same time, this is where the water goes in. Just like that. Uh, this might be a little problem for me because I don't have... Uh, so I need some sort of a, this kind of device to put the water in. Uh, anyhow, so here's that. Here's a switch. Now it's working. I'm assuming it's putting in uh, pressure in there, so it's going to start working. There's the lever here. Air is coming in already. Let's see. And here's probably the water control. Let's see. No, nope, it's still not going in. I'm going to wait a little more. Alright, let's see. Pretty good. Okay, success. Off. Noisy. All right, so that's it. I got a new gadget. Um, pretty exciting uh, because I didn't have to pay anything pretty much. So that's it. Uh, you guys have a good day. Bye.